Greetings YouTube. I have a bit of a surprise today and it's not just that I look like a common burglar when I go outside. And it's not that I do actually sometimes take my camera off the tripod. It's not glued on there. No, some backstory is pertinent here. My father grew up on a farm when he was younger and he's been missing the experience. So I guess over a year ago or something he, in spite of my protests, in spite of my not really... <laughs> they're giving away the surprise. They can tell I'm present. Um, we got chickens, five of them. Or chickens, hens really, but People always say chickens for some reason, and they're just, they're delightful. There's a real joy in seeing the enthusiasm at which they devour the food that we serve, the reaction when we come, we're going to that is what we're going to be serving them. And this is my father, in case you're wondering. <clears throat> uh, and that is them. <laughs> and as you can tell, they, they love it. It is... <laughs> The, the the sheer energy here, the the joy at being fed <laughs> is just they, this gives so much um, seeing their you know joy of life, joy of just these simple pleasures, just eating and drinking. And when you when you follow them over time, they, the way they react to the world, such, they just accept the way things are and just adjust to it. There's no complaining, there's no, you know, some other pets, you know, dog or cat, you might, you know, be able to tell, oh, they're you know, unhappy or something. Never with... <laughs> ah. Only two for now? Oh, no, three? Four. four. Excellent. Yeah. And they just... If, if they can't go a particular direction, they'll go some other direction. They... And where there's food, they will go if they can. <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> That is the energy that they... And they're also quite tame by now. If they go in a direction that we don't want them to, we can just be reaching down a hand and and they, they will accept being picked up. Most of them. There, there's one that doesn't care too much for it. It's a shot. And, uh, yeah. Also, during... This time, sometimes they will be walking with, or standing, mostly standing, with on just one leg because, of course, as they, as we also know, the a lot of our body heat leaves through our feet. So, and without, you know, there there is no high intelligence here to speak of. It's instinct. They just know that they should be standing on one leg if they can to conserve the body heat. <laughs> and they... Excellent. There is... I don't know how... Yeah, I guess you can sort of see. They they don't like the snow. They uh, Where they come from, they haven't really had to cross a lot of snow. So if there's snow in front of them, they aren't real happy about 
crossing it. They prefer, or at least it, it should be like like shallow, not a thick layer of snow. And the <laughs> but but yeah, if they start to walk in a direction that they shouldn't they they just accept being picked up by now by now that they're tame <laughs> and it's just like you know there there's and there's usually no complaining they tend to not even try to get free it's just okay i'm being picked up now that's okay and you know they go about their business right after as soon as we put them back down it's just this delicious again not like you know a dog or a cat might like you know pay some attention to you but no there is just there there's the food and we are the bringers of the food and if we're nearby there might be food and it just it it really helps with perspective there's just <laughs> there are no big concerns over life there's no philosophies f f yeah that word there is just the instincts and what they drive them to they also consume small rocks pebbles whatever the word is in american english and pebbles pebbles sure um, and this oh yes and um, and these pebbles, I don't know what that part of their body is called in English, but there is a part of their body that needs these pebbles for to them grind to, the to grind the food. And by the way, if I sound terribly learned on this subject, it's because my father told me all this stuff. And some of it I sort of could tell from their behavior. But they need these pebbles, and if they don't get them, they won't survive. And once again, that is that is a testament to the theory of evolution. Because presumably, there were some hens long ago that did not eat the pebbles, and they died. The ones who did eat pebbles survived, and it's just in their genes. It's just, they just know to do it. And thus their body has since, you know, they don't have, I mean, we, we humans don't need to eat pebbles. We don't need some kind of assistance for the whole, that whole process. So for them, presumably, they, it, it just through, you know, evolution chose to not really, you know, give them more in that regard, because they didn't need it, and there's also, when they eat, it's not so obvious with this, because this is just grain and such, but if there's something bigger, they don't, they don't have hands, they can't really, you know, tear things apart or something, they'll just pick it up and shake their head, shake their beak, you know, sort of just side to side, just trying to make sure, you know, eventually some part of it might fall off, or they'll just, you know, reach their head back and try to let the whole thing go in, you know, there's just, again, there's no, there's no complaining, there's no why don't I have hands, you, you know, the bringers of my food have two hands, there's just, okay, I don't have hands, I must just use the beak. They aren't really doing it yet, but eventually they will probably be venturing outside in spite of the cold. And what they will do is they will walk along this path that my father made before. And they will move under this stairwell, because in there, there is still some earth to get to. There is still... I doubt I can get an angle on it. Yeah, that's the best I'm gonna be able to do here, folks. But they can 
they can still get to some of the ground and they will find stuff they need there. Grass and the pebbles. I don't know. I don't know if it comes through through the camera, but in real life, these are just so charming. So it's such a thrill to see something be so happy just because you brought it food. Just you know, the um, and just the way they react to their surroundings. They, they do sometimes peck at the snow, they get some of their water that way. They need water, of course, and they have realized that, you know, there is water in there. You know, again, something that just you know, we don't... N no one is telling them these things. It's not some... My father's trying to lure them out with some pills, I guess you'd say. And there they go. Protein pills. Protein pills. And... <laughs> the energetic search for more pills and and see there are these three oh I might be scaring it sorry about that and see the the other two they haven't quite realized it yet they're just they're still in there and but but eventually they will And see the the movement of the head. They just they constantly on the lookout for some food. I will use the zoom to give them some space. If I can work the zoom with this glove, there we go. Yeah. They are still just at the... Okay, to avoid this getting too long, I'm gonna take a break here and I will be returning if they move. My father has gotten some grass for the young'uns. We, uh, and there's been a development. They have found the... they followed the path. So, uh, the, the fifth one is still over there, did, did it ever, oh, there we go, there we go, see, ah, there was some good stuff. They appreciate grass for completely different reasons than us. <laughs> and... Clover. Yes. And see, if, if it's too, if it can't quite... If it's too big, they'll, they'll pick at it, they'll try to shake it some. They'll find a way to make, or they will give up on it, <laughs> as was the case here. They'll either make it small enough that they can take it in a single bite, or they'll just give up on it, maybe one of the others will try. See, this is, I think this might be the third one that's tried. Yeah. And, they don't yeah. appreciate it. Uh, maybe not, yeah. Is this the first no, time it's they've a flower, gotten? I think, yeah. Ah. Yeah. But the grass. But the grass. Look at the that. The grass is delicious. 
<laughs> ah, another one, another try. There oh. it goes. There are some. And see, there's just, there's no, if it doesn't work, then, then there's no worrying about it. Then it just moves on to the next potential food. And they don't, have, have they ever eaten something that was bad for them or? No. They, they um, they were really choicy. Oh, it's uh, choosy, choosy, yeah. Picky, I think Picky, is the yes. correct. Yes, let's not danify the poor English language. Another one, but it, frying. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, and, and the um, yes, yes, there. But but yes, again, they just seem to know by instinct what's what's good for me and what isn't. I mean, we have tried serving things that they they basically get everything that we don't eat. If there's like a lot of fat on a piece of meat, my father will carefully cut it all off because it's not good for us and it really doesn't taste very good if you've ever actually tasted fat. But they love it. It's just, it's pure deliciousness for them. And it's calories for them. It in the winter, they need a lot of calories. Yes. And they get that uh, during fast. I will move out of the way here so that, yep, there you go. They keep moving. I was just in the way of the poor dear ones. God, I can cross here. There's no grass here. Ah, uh, they don't seem to be as interested in being under the stairs as usual. The uh, it's a matter maybe. of time when they get there. Oh, there might be. I might be going there now. And you can see they're pretty much tame by now. They they can practically walk right over us if uh, if we're in the way, walk between our legs or walk right over our feet. They don't mind in the least. Ah, uh, they might be. I think they might just be going back to the, the house. It might be too cold. It is pretty windy. It's quite chilly out, so they might just be going back. But that's another thing. They can be out for an entire day. They won't, they maybe aren't as much now that it's very cold, but you know, they would, they would be, Yes. They would be very, they would be out for hours, just hours, just getting grass straight from the ground, getting up, oh, there you go, more drinking snow. Oh, wow, yeah, that is Danish winter 2010 slash 2011. This is as bad as it's been for a long time. 29 years. 29 years, yes. That was, yeah. I don't remember the thing 29 years ago because I was negative 5 years old at the time. But my father says it was quite bad. So. And it was, what was it on the news recently? 29 years? There we go. Uh, it, it was said on the news recently or yes. something that it was 29 years, so yeah. Now I remember how bad it was. Uh, maybe they will go to the stairs. Maybe. Know. They are They are close. Ah, carefully. Yes, there we go. Under the stairs. One for now. Oh, coming back out. Maybe. 
But anyway, to return to the story. Ah, yes, uh, again, the a source of water for them. But but yes, they would be when when they shake themselves like that. Is it to, to, because of heat or is it some other? I don't know. Uh, it it uh, uh, they the, uh, sort of blow themselves up. Ah yes. They uh, make the feathers uh, wide open. Yes. And uh, the, all the feathers are hollow. Yes. And they contain uh, air, which is um, uh, insulating. Yes. Ah, yes. Yeah, but, it's but but yes, they would they would be out for hours, and they would still return to the house when it starts to get dark, or when they've gotten yeah, enough really of the grass. Them. They um, and they they actually they got out early on, and they were found in the bushes, just slightly a, a bit above. H how far above? Maybe a meter or something above. The, uh, two, um, meters. Uh, two, meters. two meters. Two meters above the ground because, again, instinct, they knew that their predators, their natural predators, would not be that high. So, you know, if a cat came along or something, they'd be, you know, a bit further up and they would be safe there. They weren't trying to get away, they just wanted to be safe. They have never really tried to get away as such, though we did once find them at the neighbors, because it's kind of interesting. The doorbell rang. I walk out, I don't recognize the kid standing in front of me. Yes. Do you have hens? Yes. Then they're at our place. That was base that was the entire conversation, and then I followed and they had gotten them. Him and his father had picked them up and were getting them back to here, so But they basically just want to make sure they can eat and that they have a nice warm place. And let me tell you, these are five of the most spoilt chickens in the world. Because my father loves to prepare stuff for them. Well, to prepare, maybe putting it a bit... Anything that he can feed them, he will feed them and they get as much as they could possibly want and we do often get like five eggs in a day he was talking about that you know eventually they will have to be slaughtered you know once they stop supplying eggs and we'll of course eat them which is kind of strange because I've been talking about them as if they were members of the family up until now but anyway you know once they stop laying eggs, but they haven't stopped yet. We actually expected them to a couple of months back, but they keep laying eggs. Very, very dependent. Very. De anyway, we can depend on them, is what I mean. Yeah, they might not particularly go under the stairwell today. It might just be too cold. And I'm pretty sure you're all really sick of me fawning over these completely natural creatures by now. So I hope you've enjoyed what might be the only video I ever upload of my own that will go under the nature category. So, yes. Farewell. Once more, we are going to be giving them something to drink and you can tell this one has already picked up on and the rest are kind of oh there we go there we go there is something good right in here see they they just they're perfectly comfortable around us uh -huh. and there some water they say they say they trust you. Yeah, they, they might not be thirsty they've uh, They've gotten a lot of the um, the snow and the ice yeah. in the time that. <laughs> they try to melt. Uh, they they yeah they think it's food in the. Uh... <laughs> there you are. Okay. Oh, there we go. There we go. And I I love that movement. It's the the cutest thing. The way they just they they can't swallow with their head down there. So they just lift up their head and. Do the little movement and 
and that's it. They they just again just completely going by what going with what works. <laughs> so yeah. Water is better than snow. Yes. They, yeah, I <laughs> think I'm gonna cut it off here because you're probably sick and tired of this video, so bye. If I can hit the button. <laughs> one last thing, we're gonna try to pick one of them up to show that for you. And there see? Just Hi. and there's 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 no <laughs> complaining, there's no <laughs> It just yeah. accepts it. There's yeah. no see Are you no. It's okay. It's not even a little. Oh, there we go. Just just to make sure that you know, flipping its wings a bit, just to make sure that it can land okay. Yeah. You know, it doesn't know if it's going to be put all the way down or not. So. But that's it. You know, there's no there's no psychic repercussions. There's no psychological repercussions. There is no tormented soul. They. Yes, they they, they don't really distinguish. They just they walk where they you walk. misbehave. You're <laughs> walking in your food, <laughs> and it's, sometimes when we toss the food to them, it might end up on top of one of them, and that's just fine for the others. They'll just eat it right off there, feathers. and yes, right off the feathers. And neither of them are even a little bit bothered by this. They can actually feel the. <laughs> oh, see again. They, they think, just, they are they think there might be some food. food. Oh, yeah. is there food? No, 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 no. it's empty. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. Okay, for reals this time. Goodbye.